how are you receiving payments within your ERP next instance? How about the situation where the sales invoice has a QR code where the customer can scan and pay? A situation where you can send a payment link directly from your ERP next instance to the WhatsApp number of your customer so that they can click on it and make a payment. And a situation where you can prompt the customer directly. This one we are using M-Pesa. Prompt the customer directly from your ERP next instance and all they need to do is to enter the PIN and the payment is done or reconciliation done automatically. How, how that feel? Let me show you this thing in action so that you know what I'm talking about. Let's get into it. On the screen here, we have three tabs that we are going to be using a lot today. There is probably going to be more, maybe the payment entries, but these three screens are, or rather tabs are very important for us. The first one is the sales invoice. And of course, because we are dealing with the sales invoice here, we need the sales invoice screen. The second one is a pay bill settings. This is a custom document that we have created that is going to be handling uh, where the money is going to be paid to or rather where the money is going to go when the customer makes a payment. And because this is M-Pesa integration, we have integrated it in such a way that you can even decide to receive the money directly to your bank account. And this is just one bank account. I'm going to also be showing you with another bank and note this does not have choices. You can use any bank account. The third tab is my mobile number. Uh, not the number, but my mobile phone screen. So what this is, um, I have joined a meeting with uh, my phone. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that I can be able to demo to you what is happening on my phone. Because you know if it's payment through M-Pesa, then you expect that payments are going to be happening from uh, the mobile uh, phone, right? So here, I have my first bank set up. This is my, uh, my bank account number, and this is uh, the pay bill number for APSA. So this is uh, my APSA bank account number, and this is the pay bill number for APSA bank. So uh, of course you do those settings there, and then you can go to the invoice. Opening this invoice in here, we have introduced a button up here. You can see we have actions and inside actions, we have send payment link, we have send SDK push, and we have unreconcile. Send payment link sends a link to WhatsApp so that customers can click on it and then make a payment directly to this sales invoice. This send the SDK push will basically send a prompt to the mobile phone uh, which then the customer just needs to enter the PIN or their M-Pesa PIN and then the money is going to be deducted and deposited here and then this invoice is going to be reconciled. And reconcile means that you have a few payment entries or one payment entry or whatever payment entries or some payment entries that you would like to reconcile from this invoice. So I can click on this one. We have a number of uh, payment entries that I was doing, of course, to test. These are six. And you can decide, I want to, un to un reconcile this. So when you unreconcile, those payment entries are going to be unreconciled and this uh, invoice is going to be reversed. That payment is going to be reversed rather. All right, let's go back here. Let's start with SDK push. So if I click on this, what this tells me, and you can see now the balance is, uh, let me actually show you that. The outstanding balance is 94,994, right? We are going to be paying just one shilling, one shilling. We don't have to pay a lot. We just need to show you how this is working. So when I click on SK push, what this will do is that it's going to give me, let me just refresh this. Sometimes my server is becoming slow, but hopefully it's going to behave well for us so that you can have a smooth demo. So, when I come here and click on SDK push, we have this. So it fetches the invoice number, it fetches the mobile number of the, of the customer and the outstanding amount. So this outstanding amount can be changed if the customer is not paying everything. For example, I changed it from whatever it was to one shilling. And then I click on send. This confirms whether you actually want to send that because you know this is something to do with the money. You don't want to send your customers uh, prompts that are not uh, that are not intended to be sent. So I click on OK. 
it's going to tell me that an SDK push has been sent, yes. And now when I navigate back to here, you can see we have an SDK push there. Asking me whether I want to pay one shilling to Microsoft Limited account number this one. So the only thing I need to do here now is to enter my my PIN, my M-Pesa PIN, and I'll do that. And then I'll click on send. When I click on send, I want you to see the kind of messages that are going to come. The first one is there, M-Pesa, telling me that one bob has been paid. The second one is APSA Bank telling me that that money has actually been received. Let's go back to our invoice. You remember the balance? It was 994. If you come back here, now it's 993. And that's not all. Let me navigate and take you to the, uh, to the payment entries. Or rather, I don't even have to do that. I can just come here and say, I reconcile. Pretend to be a reconciling. And you can see now we have an invoice, uh, a payment entry number seven. See, there were six. Now we have number seven. So that is how a prompt works. How about this uh, send link? When I click on this send link, this one we have to be we have to be on WhatsApp. Let me just click on OK there from my phone. So here I go here and then I click on OK. So I want you to see what's going to happen when I come here and click on send payment link. So that is going to send that to my WhatsApp and just hold on and see here. Still waiting for it. Let's just confirm whether maybe there's a yeah, payment link successfully sent. It should be coming. Sometimes because this is using a queue, it takes a little bit of time. But yeah, actually it is here. So if we open here, you can see this is the link. Yeah. So I can click on this link now. And what happens when I click on that link? Remember, I'm clicking as a customer is that this opens again this form. I can enter the mobile number which I want to pay using. So 25, that is 71 and 31. And then here I'm going to change again amount. Let me do two shillings this time so that we know exactly which one we, we, we paid. So if I do that, this again is going to send me a prompt. Yeah, you see, do you want to pay two shillings to that? And they confirm by entering my pin. Don't worry about that, I'm going to change it immediately after this. And then I click on OK. So when I do that, one message from M-Pesa and another one from APSA Bank. You see that? There it is. If I go back to my invoice, remember now it was 993, now it's 991. And if I click on this and I click on re and reconcile, you see that actually there is an e a payment entry number 8 for two shillings that has just come in. The one more thing that I want to show you quickly is that you can change this. So 247, 247, that is equity bank. And my account number is 0210-1939-57044. I hope I got that right. Then I click on save. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, if I come now here and I click on send SDK push, and I do that the same number, and now let me pay this one shilling that is pending here, so that we need made 90. And I click on OK, and we come back here. We're expecting that we're going to see a prompt coming up. And there is our prompt. And then we go ahead and do the pin and we say send. When we do that, we are again going to receive two messages. The first one, from Mpesa. The second one, note, is from Equity Bank. So the money this time has gone to Equity Bank. So the thing we changed was basically here. Only this and the money has been diverted now to Equity Bank. How sweet is that? The only thing you need to do when well, maybe you implement this is you need to make sure that this document can only be accessed by people that actually need to access it because an employee can change something here and then they receive the money into their bank account so you need to make sure that you have protected this document like you protect your money as if that is not enough we also added a qr code to the invoice itself so let me click on this and then when I click on that, I go to the invoice. Don't worry about the looks. We have just uh, worked on this section and, of course, the QR code. So here you can see the outstanding amount of the invoice as well. So it's being fetched there. So you can, of course, put place your letterhead in this invoice and I'm telling you it's going to look great. So let me go back to my to my meeting. You remember? Let me go back here. Let me bring in, let me bring in this, this specific screen so that... We see it together. And now what I want to do is I want to scan this QR code using uh, my 
form so i'll quickly go here and then you can see where i'm going and then i'll click on this one yeah and then i need to go back here let me let me just quickly delete uh, sweep that off the screen and then i go here and open this and then that is looking for something to scan go back here and then i will scan this qr code when that is done you can see what has happened then i'll just need to click on this link and again the payment process proceeds so why did we do this we did this for the sake of those customers who you know let, let me just again pay one shilling those customers who probably want to get the invoice printed so you can print them the invoices are going to go with the qr codes and when the customers need to make a payment all they need to do again i'm going to do my pin all your customers will need to do is to uh, scan the qr code and the payment is done again the money is coming in you can imagine that is how easy you have made it is uh, you have made it for your customers to make the payments so that is it that i wanted to show you today i don't want to make a very long video if you are interested in this uh, implementation of course you know where to find us we are opelsoft go to the contact us page and hit us there or you can just check in the comment section below or not comments rather but description section below you'll find my contacts there and you can reach me directly and let's talk business thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one